Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. <laughs> today, I'm having a great day today because um, we've gone back to my roots. Now, I'm going to start by saying this is a temporary job, one day only job. However, I am looking to um, continue working for this company, so fingers crossed. Ooh, wee! We're on a quarry right now, doing a bit of off roading. We're on the uh, tippers, eight-wheeler tippers. Um, I'm not going to mention the company or anything like that just yet, just in case they don't want me uh, saying anything. But uh, we've got some muck on us, muck away. And, uh, yeah, just uh, picking it up from one site and taking it to another. I don't know how many runs I've got planned. I know there's at least two, so... But, yeah, no, it's good. Um, yeah, really hoping that I can uh, continue doing this job but we'll have to see at the moment it's just today I think today's like a trial so if I do well today then uh, all good I suppose but yeah back on the tippers so looking forward to tipping this out it's been a while the fleet itself is a Volvo uh, this is actually a rental truck so if I did get the job then uh, it won't necessarily be this truck I get but uh, from the looks of it all the other trucks but also Volvo, so good, good looking trucks, nice yard, really impressed. Oh, this is a bit of a bank here. <laughs> bit of off-roading. There's no armrest on these uh, on these rigids. I usually put my arm down, but never mind. Both wheels, uh, both hands on the steering wheel. It is. Matey boy said go down to the blade, and they tell me where to tip it. So I'm, I don't know what he means by blade. So, does he mean like one of these big old bulldozers? Because there's one over there. It's quite funny actually, when I come in here, I told him my name. And he said, you're not from Cricklade, are you? I said, yeah, yeah. Turns out he knows my parents. <laughs> and that's good. I, uh, when, I, when I first jumped in this truck this morning and I started driving off, I was well happy. Well happy. Back to the roots. Love it. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that that's the blade. So he wants me to go speak to him somewhere. There's a truck in front. Maybe, maybe I've got to tip it in the same place he has. It looks deep. Yeah, this is this is for me. I was thinking earlier, like in all my sort of career, I've always been in the construction side. Like it's always been delivering, you know, machinery and bags and equipment to sites. I've never really been an RDC guy. I've always really been construction site, quarry, guy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I love it. Really, uh, really enjoying this so far. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm really hoping that I can get a full time job out of this. But we'll have to wait and see. I think I need to turn around and reverse up. Why is my camera going funny? Oh, I think it's because I'm getting a phone call at the same time.
reverse on back. Like I said, I'm going to assume it is where he put is, but you can never be quite so sure. The, the blade, whatever it is, is no longer there. He's kind of gone off a little bit. Gonna get dirty feet coming out of here. Should have bought my wellies. Well, I've gone up to the pile where matey boy left is, but I'm not tipping until I've had confirmation. Missed call from my mate Craig. Gonna take my heart out just in case. Ugh. Right. Yeah, I'm ever so slightly in the wrong place. Just need to budge over to the right a little bit. He wants it on the ramp. I thought he would want it, like, not on the ramp, but it turns out he wants it on the ramp. Apparently, anyway, so... That's where it's going, anyway. <laughs> okay, tailboard should now be open. PTO on, handbrake on, in neutral. My first tip in quite a few years. I need the camera on. All right, we're going out. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, he's not beeping me, he's beeping never guy. Now, if I remember rightly, you've got to push forward now. Just wait for him to go past me. All the way up. We're all the way up. And break off. Not as fast as him, but, <laughs> but that's not the point. It's not about speed, it's about doing it right, so. I'd rather do it right. That's cool. Yes, I know. It's just telling me that the body isn't in the driving position. Uh, some places can get quite funny about that driving with the body still up, but um, you know, we're in a wide open place, so he did it, so I did it. <laughs> That's my excuse. Um, I want to close the uh, tailgate up now, so it's closing. I'll go through the, uh, the jet wash, and then I'll probably stop and just double check the tailgate is shut, only because the last time I used to drive tippers, my truck, the tailgate would never fully close without me pushing against it sometimes. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm going to uh, gonna temporarily stop. i got a radio here, and I can speak to people <laughs> from, from the company we're doing work for. 
Sorry, mate. So I recognise him. There's a that's the thing, right? There's a lot of faces I recognise doing this job. Um, even the guy that loaded us on the uh, the digger, a uh, um, Graham. I um I know him. That's pretty cool. I just I like recognising lots of different people. <laughs> Right, anyway, I need to make a phone call. I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Ugh. Enjoy the rest of the uh, the footage getting out of this site. Uh, going through the check wash. <laughs> So we're just around the corner now from picking up our second load. We are actually in a weight limit, um, but it does say except for access. Um, there's there's no way around it. Perton, which is where we are, is a um, weight limited area, whichever way you come in. Um, and where we need to go is in the in the weight limited area. So yes, I am in a weight limited area, but I need access. The signs say except for access, so we're all good. When I come here last time, I was told to reverse in, but I might be able to drive it, I'm not sure. I might just reverse in off the road again. There's no one behind us, that's good. There's the sign saying uh, lorries turning. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can go in, beacon's on. Lovely jubbly. Just got to get used to the, uh, the, the turning circle. That sun is bright. Uh, if you want, if you want, so you can reverse back. There's no, there's no cars behind you or anything now. Come back. So, I've got a radio in here. Which other users can have. Uh, how far off am I? I'm quite far off. Because the sun's in my eyes, I can't quite see where the digger is. getting loaded so yeah um <laughs> got, i keep looking over here because that's normally where i'm getting you for the last five minutes i don't know what they're talking about <laughs> but um yeah we're uh, just getting loaded now with the second load So let's get this loaded and then we can uh, head on out of here.
Right, we are back out of the quarry. We've just done our second run. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing today uh, after this because I was sort of told to uh, get two runs done by nine o'clock. Well, it's actually 10 o'clock, but then I did also start later than everyone else as well. So, you know, no big deal. It's just come up on the dash saying slippery road. Nah, <laughs> this ain't slippery, is it? <laughs> I'm hoping he's going to wait there for me. Yeah. Right, we just got to go through the wheel wash. Anyway, I just found out what we're doing for the rest of the day. And uh, it's the same thing. We're just doing this. Ugh. Uh, all day today. Uh, he said they normally get seven or eight loads done a day. I'm on my second one. Take, it takes about an hour to do each one. So... Um, say I work until four o'clock four five six, that's six more to do plus the two already done so that is eight but we'll need to get a break in as well so I'm hoping I can try and get seven done that's what I'm hoping right check wash time this site is like proper proper dirty but you want to see the footwell. It's not like I can leave the boots outside. Because uh, it's just steps outside. They're going to get dirty outside as well. There's no side lockers. Let's give this truck a good clean. I don't want to be putting any mud on the road and causing an accident. So back again one thing I do like about these Volvos is how quickly they change gear changes so fast that'll do Right, back to do the other job, beacons off. Excellent, right. Yeah, unfortunately it's gonna be a little bit boring for you seeing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> um, and you might think, is it boring for me doing the same thing over and over again? But actually no, I love doing this and um, it's like, I'm literally going past my house every trip I do. I mean, not like, not right past it, but past the area. So if there was like an emergency and I needed to get home, I could be home in like within half an hour, 45 minutes, like maximum. I'd probably get home, if I, if I had to get home right now from where I am, get back to the yard, five minutes, and then get home in five minutes, I'd be home in 10 minutes. Whereas, Obviously doing class one work, you're further away. I could be in Manchester, I could be in Southampton. You know, Manchester's like three, four hours away. Southampton's two hours away. I'd be all over, which is, you know, it's the nature of class one work. But uh, this job with this company, local company, local work, home every night, yes, please. <laughs> I just, uh, I really, really, really need to make a good impression. Get the work done. I need to try and get these seven loads in and uh, show that I can do it, do you know what I mean? And then hopefully they take me on. I can't remember if I've mentioned already, but they've also got low loader work, um, which I did enjoy, to be fair. The low loader work itself was fine. It was more the hours, it was the hours I was putting in. So he said that his low loader driver don't do any nights out. <laughs> so it could be tempting, but you know, there's a difference between doing nights out and finishing at nine o'clock at night and starting at, you know, sort of six in the morning, so. We'll see. I don't want to be going home just for nine hours and then coming into work the next day. But so far, so good. Job is uh, looking promising and I am definitely enjoying myself. Anyway, let's get some more miles under our belt.
Okay, you now join me at, what is that? So we're on high vis. You join me at 20 to one. What's he doing on the road? Oh, it's a cyclist. Get off the road, mate. You're just on the road looking at your phone. Um, yeah, 20 to one. And uh, we need a break. We've, uh, we've done four hours of driving time so far. We ain't stopped. <laughs> it's literally go, go, go. Um, so started at seven. So working time, we need a break by one o'clock. Um, it's 20 to one now, so I actually need to get a break in. I was hoping I can get in this lay-by here, but it looks like it might be full. Yeah, it looks like it's full. But if he's going, actually, he's just gone. There we go, just managed to dive in, look. Good job that van left. Let's just tuck in a little bit. Oh, he's actually going. The one behind me just uh, started coming forward as I was reversing. He wiped up my, my bum hole. <laughs> uh, right, we've got beacons on so they can come off. Handbrake on. We are neutral. Narrow and neutral. Uh, leave the main menu. Brake. It's just one of those tacos that the uh, ignition kicks off brake. No, it isn't. We're good. We're good. Let's undo the window, get some fresh air. My feet are dirty. I don't know if you can hear this. Hang on. Ready? Yeah. Proper, proper dirty. To be fair, actually, there is a step where I could put boots, but my boots are quite big. I'm definitely going to have to try and clean this out somehow. I'm going to have to get, if I if I do do this job full time, I'm going to have to get some cleaning kit, like um, like a sponge and uh, like one of those bristle things where you do washing up with and uh, a scraper so I can scrape stuff off. I'm definitely going to have to get some kit. Oh, that comes out. That's cool. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm gonna have some break. Uh, I've not got no food, so I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and then uh, get on with the rest of the day. I've done four loads so far, so I will be happy if I get another three more done. Um, we'll have to wait and see. See you in a bit. Right, break is over. We're now heading off. Let's get out of this lay-by. Four, why do... Oh, it says I've done four hours of driving still. <laughs> no, I've done 45. I'm hoping that's going to update in a sec. It was the same with the MAN I used to drive. It would always not update the driving time until after a minute of driving or whatever work. So... <laughs> I'm hoping I've uh, bleeped out anything I need to bleep out from this. But if you do hear anything, just bear in mind it's not me saying it. And uh, yeah. But I've got to have it. Oh, there's someone behind us as well. Driving time is updated, that's good. Right, okay. So, heading back uh, to go get our fifth load. Everyone's, everyone is taking the shortcut, but um, I was told to go the long way, so. The long way is the way I've gone. Uh, and I think it's gonna be the way I continue to go, because I haven't been told I mean, I have been told to go up that hill, but this morning he said just leave, leave it clear. Just let the other guys go up there. So, okay. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I'm cracking on. I've had a great day today. Really enjoyed it. Um, just, I'll take it by plane. Yeah. I've um, just popped out and spoke to the guys there. A couple of guys, anyway. Sort of, you know, just getting to know them and saying hi. You know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I would love to do this four times. We will see. Anyway, let's go. Go get loaded. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, so <clears throat> I'm actually running out of time. I'm on my way now to get my sixth run, but I want to try and get seven done. Um, and from what I could tell, everyone has been going in a little one-way system. So they've been going up the tight road, going in, and then coming out the way I've been going in and out. 
So I'm thinking about going up the tight hill. <laughs> um, we'll have to wait and see. I can't take a phone call right now. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're going to go up. Is there a school there? No, there isn't a school there. Right, yeah, we're going to go up. But I know it's tight. <laughs> it really is quite a tight road. For a car. Let her know in a lorry. That beacon, by the way, is a sensor on the left. Uh, tells me if there's anything potentially I'm going to hit. Right, so I've radioed ahead to let the guys know that I'm going up the hill. Hopefully no one comes down. It'd definitely be interesting if anyone does come down the hill. And you're, <laughs> you're going to see in a minute it gets very tight. If I remember rightly, there's buildings either side of you, or at least on one side. Uh, let's hope I don't hit it. We all know what happened last time I uh, drove a class two and got close to a house. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. But it's not a joke, because it did happen. It's a joke because it's not going to happen this time. Right, here comes the hill. We're okay at the moment to carry on at this speed because it's nice, wide and open, but we are going to have to slow right down in a moment. Bam, 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 bam. Right, here we go, starting to slow down. We don't really want to meet another car, let alone a truck. Bit of wheel spinach. Easy on the foot wall. But we have to go this way if we want to save any time. That's the mirror. Just clipped the bush. Oh, this is tanned. That mirror is fine, by the way. Just need to push it out ever so slightly. There we go. Just sort of nudged it in ever so slightly. So, as I was saying earlier, Purton, which is this place here, actually where my mum was born, um, the whole the whole village, I think it's a village, is weight limited. It doesn't matter what way around you come in. It's all weight limited. Um, so we have to come in a weight limit anyway. So it doesn't really matter which way you come in. But this is the quickest way. And I think there's uh, what we've been trying to do by the sounds of it is come in this way and out the other way so trucks aren't crossing past. You know, we do have some common sense. <laughs> you wanna slow down, mate? Yeah. Here comes that building, which is like right sticking out into the road. These residents are going to be like, what are you doing down here? Well, what I'm doing down here, my darling, is uh, taking mud away from a site so new houses can be built, which they're probably opposed against as well, to be fair, let's be honest. My brother used to live around here somewhere as well. You're not going to tuck in anymore, no? Bit of a treat. My main worry is that it's now three o'clock, so the school run is happening. But there's not a school this side, it's the other side. We're turning right at this roundabout and there's a, a school down on the left. get over how light this steering wheel is it's like really light I love it uh, and of course now the site is going to be on the left hand side not the right hand side so get ready for the beacons beacons on 
lorry's turning sign. Right, can we go straight in? Uh, do you know what? It looks like we can. Oh, I'm going to reverse in. I've been uh, trying not to reverse in because I, it's a blind side. And then I thought to myself just now, <laughs> literally just now, uh, it's not a blind side because I'm in a rigid. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm obviously going to get one more done. That will then be my sixth run, but I want to try and get seven done. I love this gearbox. It goes straight from reverse to drive. And look at that look. Straight on. I love the fact I've got a rear camera. It makes things so much easier. You can actually see when you're going to get to the area where you've got to stop. Three, two, one. And there we go. See? Right. I've got to do some paperwork. See you in a bit. Right. Time is 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I've uh, just done my sixth load. Sixth delivery. Um, one of the other drivers said, yeah, yeah, go back and get loaded for a seventh. Uh, and if you can't get it off, then uh, they'll get someone else to do it. I thought I'd just call the office anyway, because they did say call around four o'clock. Uh, and they, where I've just been, they, they, they close at quarter past four. So I can get loaded, but I can't get offloaded. I know that. So I've just phoned uh, the guys I'm doing the work for, just let them know. Uh, and they said, yeah, yeah, come back to the yard. So they want me to wash off, fill up, refuel. So that's fine, we'll do that. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, <laughs> as in, I don't know if I've got to have a special code for the fuel or anything like that, but we will see, we will see. I'm uh, prepared to stay in the yard for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Those kids scared me a little bit then. So yes, uh, heading back to the yard. So thank you very much for everyone who has watched this video all the way through. Really, really, really do appreciate it. And uh, fingers crossed we can get this class two job. I mean might not who knows uh, I think I've done a pretty good job of hiding who I've done the work for so I'm hoping I can uh, release this video <laughs> um, but yeah so thank you for watching do appreciate it uh, until next time drive safe fingers crossed hopefully permanent job in the future very soon hopefully fingers crossed see you soon bye bye